Welcome to this year's first edition of our online review for our various quizzes and whatnot. Okay, first off, this is a fairly e eh version of um, the map you guys did today in class. Today is Wednesday, by the way, when I'm recording this. Um, as you can see, I did write in marker, and if you're in my class, I told you I hate when people write in markers on maps, but I had to simply because I needed you guys to be able to see what I did. So, first off, we're going to start on the coastal plains. The coastal plains are, is this area right here. The coastal plains, as we can see, kind of all up in here. The coastal plains are an area that have fertile so soil. They're primarily what we refer to as lowlands lowlands or whatever. Um, they have fertile soil and they are on the coast. Um, a way to remember they have fertile soil, soil you have places like Alabama, um, or sorry, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all even down here in Texas, this area is very fertile land for the most. So all of this fertile lowlands, fertile lowlands in this coastal region. Okay, moving on. We see the Appalachian Mountain, Appalachian Highlands, and I'm gonna have my little red marker here. Um, I'm gonna color this in real quick. La la la. The truth is, in this area, um, this area is what we're gonna talk about a whole lot when we talk about our colonists coming over, because when we have colonists, little guys, and I'm gonna. I don't know why I just put a cap on that. Um, oh no, where's my black marker? Hunt for the black marker. There it is. Okay. We have colonists coming over from England. And this is my little colonist man. He's coming over from England. La 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 la. The first big geographic barrier that he runs into, what is it? It's going to be these Appalachian Highlands. These Appalachian Mountains are going to cause huge problems for him. So this is the first place that colonists find this is one of the first geographic barriers that we talk about. So geographic barrier. Okay, boom. First geographic barrier for early colonists. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, and guys, remember this is also just FYI where Katniss Everdeen is from. You're welcome, world. I know you're excited. Okay, the interior plains. This is kind of the biggest region we colored today, and I'm just going to kind of... La, 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 la. Okay, this right here, the man in the map, hopefully you still see him. His name is Mimel. Um, Mimel, we'll make it straighter, okay. Mimel goes right down here. And all of this area right down here that he covers, you see how the Mississippi River fills all of this? The Mississippi River provides water for all of this region around here. All of this region. Because it does that, it makes so this region is very, very fertile. This is some of the most fertile land in the United States. My mom is, used to be from Illinois, and whenever they'd be driving through Illinois, doo -doo 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 -doo, she said that she used to sometimes feel like nauseous because you could like there was like corn in the fields, and she's like, I just remember whenever I see cornfields, it always makes me feel a little nauseous because I remember really long car trips. So in case you want to have a fun way of remembering that, remember mine. Mother, when she was very young, always felt nauseous on car trips through Illinois. Now, next we're going to cover the Rocky Mountains. Now, the truth is the Rocky Mountains are not a place that um, we can really talk about without talking about uh, one of the biggest parts of it, which is tourism. When you go skiing, you generally don't go to the Appalachian Mountains. You don't go, you know, to Florida to ski because that's a little weird. Let's be real. You go to the Rockies, you go to New Mexico, you go to Colorado, you go to Wyoming, you go to all, you go to this little area right here in all the Rocky Mountains. Over here, this next section we're talking about is Inner Mountain. This area right here is a lot of desert. Um, you think about Nevada, I don't know if you've ever been to Nevada. Um, pretty much aside from Las Vegas, it is dry, dull desert. Arizona, I always think of as just like red dirt. It is purely, purely almost all like desert and canyons, Grand Canyon and Arizona. And then finally we have the Pacific Coast. Now the Pacific Coast is one we're gonna, not going to talk about very often, but it's just kind of important for you to know a general, what is it? Um, 
The Pacific Coast is mountainous and rocky, kind of does all, it does all sorts of crazy things. Um, but this right here, this is the Pacific Ocean, that's why this is called the Pacific Coast. And guys, just, I'm going to label this real quick for you, because I don't know why, but I have this fear that you're not going to remember. This is the Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so that is our little review about regions. Um, the next video I'm going to post will be about um, kind of geography and primary secondary sources.